friends and welcome back to another video. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Danielle Schmillian and welcome to my channel. For this video, I will be discussing one of my favorite meals. They are the Gucci Black Princetown Meals. They are so comfortable and I'll get into the details as to why I like them. But just to start off, I will also be including an on-feet look in this video, so stay tuned for that if you guys <laughs> if you guys wanted to see how I will be styling these shoes. Also, to get into the details of our classic Gucci box, it is black and white, and it says the Gucci logo straight in the middle of the shoe. As far as the description, this shoe is a 38 and a half. I will be discussing the sizing because it is a little complicated, but it gives you the picture of the shoe, the size, the barcode, the serial number of the shoe. It also gives you the price. I did buy this shoe quite a few years ago when they were $680, but unfortunately, because Gucci increases their price yearly, they have increased to $695. Let's get into the details of what the shoe looks like. This is what the shoe looks like. This is our Gucci Prince Town Mule. It is completely black leather all around the shoe. Ooh. And it has our gold tone hardware of the horse bit, which is one of Gucci's iconic styles that you see on literally all of their shoes. They have this in some way, shape, or form. It might not exactly look like this, but it has had different... Um, looks to it as the years have progressed this is what it looks like now i will also uh, make a video of a shoe that's kind of older it's a heel that i have that the horse bit looks a little bit different but right now this is what gucci has come out with the style of the horse bit again it is gold tone i believe there have been silver tones of this if the hardware on it has been silver then of course the hardware of the horse bit will be silver however this is gold as far as the detailing, um, it's just plain simple. It is open in the back, obviously, which means that you are not going to be wearing socks with it. I have never really seen people wear socks with these. Um, I think they would be a little weird and it probably would be a little bit more snug because sizing on this is a little weird. I ended up going a half size up, which is what I would recommend to anyone that's looking into buying this shoe they do run small and because when you're walking your foot kind of slips off of the shoe getting a half size or maybe even a whole size would be more comfortable for you guys and it wouldn't look as weird if you do get true to size i'm guaranteeing you it's going to be small because the heel um, of the shoe is very narrow as well as you can see also your heel is going to be popping out of the shoe and you don't want that because you don't want people thinking you are wearing a shoe that is not your size as you can see inside of the shoe we have our serial number that you can also find on the box of the shoe as well as the size of the shoe to get a little bit more into details on the comfortability of the shoe i do wear these shoes mostly in the summer because it is hot however keep in mind that your feet can sweat depending on how hot it is outside which means that from a lot of people i have heard i've never had this problem though this insole over here is not leather it is more of like a not a sticker material i would say but it's glued on which means that if you have feet that are sweaty usually they will kind of slip off and go onto the leather portion of the shoe and you don't really want that so i would say that if you are someone that can't necessarily wear shoes uh in the summer that are like this and open in the back because um you your feet sweat i wouldn't necessarily recommend this shoe because it can damage the insole of the shoe which i have heard about again this has never happened to me but just something for you guys to think about and necessarily try to figure out if it's right for you or not as far as the price of the shoe of it being 695 dollars if you are going to get them i suggest you get them right now because every single year gucci does increase their prices depending on what the item is that you are trying to purchase i have seen it so so I would say with all these designers if you see something don't wait to get it a year later because it is going to go up in price just the same way Chanel a week ago jumped in price with all of their handbags jewelry shoes and whatnot and a lot of people were upset 
about the price increase because of the current pandemic that we're going through but then that's just every designer every designer is gonna have the increase in their items which kind of sucks but i mean this is what the situation is as far as the durability of this shoe again i have had these for years i have used and abused them as you can see the bottom of the shoe is so dirty i apologize it just says you're 38 and a half the sizing of your shoe on the bottom of the shoe as far as the tip of the shoe this is where i've had a lot of problems with it as you can see it has worn out a lot this is also due to the fact that i have hit my shoe numerous times onto curbs if the pavement was leveled high uh when i was walking on the sidewalk i have busted my shoe onto it so that's one of the bad things that i would say about the shoe other than that i have never had a problem it's very comfortable i get a lot of compliments on this shoe whenever i'm wearing them however do i think it's worth the 695 yes i do get it right now before it goes up to 710 dollars or whatever gucci will increase their prices to i have again used and abused these shoes i've never had a problem styling these shoes because they're so versatile again they're black these do come in numerous colors different styles they have fur on the back they come in velvet they come in black, white, pink, red, neon pink, I've seen. But one thing I hate about this shoe is the fact that it creases like crazy. Right now, you can perfectly see what I mean. This is not there when you first buy the shoe. But because you wear them and your foot goes up like this, every time you're wearing them and the movement, it does cause the creasing. On the black ones, it doesn't show as much as the white ones, for example. They look insane when it comes to creasing. That's one reason why I got the black ones instead of the white ones. I tried to stay away from the white ones. That's one thing you cannot control, especially because you can't put an insole for it to keep its shape. It doesn't have a back, so that insole is going to do nothing for you. As far as if you're going to get this shoe and you don't want to get it because of the creasing, by all means, that's up to you. But it's a shoe it's leather it's bound to crease so that's what i would say in regards to the creasing that's one thing that i don't like the shoe is very plain this heel height is 0 0.4 inches i also wanted to mention in regards to the shoe is that the horse fit will never fall off the shoe because it's completely attached with the circular leather that goes around it and it is stitched that's one thing that i wanted to inform you guys about if you guys were kind of concerned <laughs>
wanted to also mention that I am doing a giveaway in my Balenciaga speed trainer video. I will include the link above right here and the link will also be provided in the description down below. Keep in mind that I am most probably going to be extending the giveaway. I had said that I have to reach a thousand subscribers by July 1st, but I decided because of the current situation that we're going through, I do want to give back to you guys and give Apple AirPods to one lucky subscriber that i will be doing through a random name generator so stay tuned for that all you have to do is follow the rules and they will all be included in the description below so stay tuned for that with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions please don't forget to comment down below like this video and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content my name is daniel schmillian and schmilly out I'm in it, 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 I'm in it.